there are many ways to recover our device. But well, today we are going to explain step by step a new method on how to recover it, EH. For that we are going to recommend you watch the video tutorial step by step without EH without rushing it so that you do not miss any of these details. And you can do exactly as we are going to do in this video tutorial. Well, the first thing we are going to do is connect to a Wi-Fi network. Then we are going to give it a tour so that you can see that it is totally blocked. In this video tutorial we are not going to use the YouTube option. As you know previously and in some videos that we uploaded we had to enter through YouTube. Well today we are going to use EH a totally different method. First of all we are going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. To be able to do the same process, we are going to connect We click here, we click here and now we connect to a network, well EH. We are going to wait a few seconds until it takes us where the Wi-Fi network is. Ah, another thing that I also want to tell you is in the description of the video and in the first comment fixed we're going to leave method. Totally different, we also have method by PC. Those people who suddenly want to do it by PC we have by PC. We also have without PC. Well for that the first thing we're going to do is watch the video. Tutorial step by step to be able to solve these problems of these devices. I also want to tell you that we have the community session for YouTube members for those people who also want to support and who like our content. We would like you to subscribe to that community so you would support us a lot. I also want to tell you what is the benefit of subscribing to that community. Well we are going to be more attentive to you. We are going to always be uploading content days in advance before we publish that content to YouTube, you will see it EH in advance as VIP. What we are going to do is click here where it says use 50 from Google. As we can see we have a screen lock, we also have a locked phone. Now we are going to click here where it says forget Gmail. We are going to do this to enable a function. Later we are going to enable that function that is going to help us a lot. We are going to click here. We're going to click on it now and we're going to do it several times. We're going to do it over and over again, we're going to do this for about 30 seconds. After those 30 seconds are up we're going to go back, we're going back after those 30 seconds. Ready, we go back, we go back, we go back. Back, we're going to click here, we click here on jump. We click on forward now, back, backward, placed backward here, we're going to enter here in politics. Here in politics we're going to enter, we're going to use a totally different method. We're going to click where it says click, we're going to click there. We click where it says click, then it would take us to this section. We're going to click here where it says the Xiaomi logo. After that Xiaomi logo loads we're going to click on these three lines that appear here. We click on it, then we click here where it says log in. After it loads we're going to click here where it says use Google account. Then we click here where it says help. Then now being here we are going to click here and click up down up down until this option is selected for us. Now we are going to click here on share now what we are going to do is select here new message message we write any number we click here what we are going to do is click on this this 
Little arrow that appears here. We are going to select camera. We select camera. We take a photo. We click here on attach. We click on the camera. Now we click here on share. We click on share. We search here for Google. We search here for Google. Here is Google image. We select Google image. Now we click on these three dots. We click here where it says policy. It would take us to what Google Chrome is. We click use. Google account. Now being here we are going to give these dots that appear here. Now we select Google. Here we are going to write our official page called DV cell. Ends in WLL so it is written as you can see. Here see like this in DL then this option will appear. Called Android DTV. Then here you are going to select the first option, the first page that appears here. We click here here you will be able to find various methods. Many methods you will be able to find directly from here. What are we going to do here? We go to the last option and we are going to select this. Option that says David apps we are going to click on it. Ready. Then being here you are going to go down. They are going to go down here you are going to find what? Is the shortcut for this Google Maps application. We are going to select this shortcut here it would take us to this section. We are going to click here on skip. Then this profile of this little ball will appear. You are going to click on that profile. Then you are going to click here in settings. We select settings. We are going to select notifications. We activate notifications. We click on it back. We click here where it says location. We click accept. Then we click here in configuration. We enable that configuration, we click back. We click here where it says this Google location setting. We click here where it says all, we're going to select those, all, show system. I say more, show system after, here we find the Google services. The option that we did at the beginning of the video, well, that gave us to enable this function, we're going to click disable. Now what we're going to do is restart our phone. And what we're going to do is wait for our phone to restart completely. When our phone restarts completely, what we're going to do is complete what is the process of removing the account from our device. That's why we always recommend watching it step by step to the end to be able to have a solution. I also want to tell you that at the end of the video we're going to explain how to correct some errors because our phone is left with some errors. The screen gets stuck. So I'm going to explain how to correct that error so that you can't miss any of these details. That's why we always recommend watching it step by step in the video tutorial. We're going to click next. We're going to wait here we return we go back. Next, it seems that this, well, these are some. Some functions so far that are coming out that we already get. What it's the option for the Wi-Fi network to be able to disable that function. It's no longer working. So what we're going to do is enter here where it says policy and privacy. We're going to enter again from here. We click where it says click. We click where it says click. Then it would take us to this section. We click the ball again. We click the ball. We wait for it to load. Now that it's loaded we're going to click here. 
We click where it says log in. We click here on Google, we click here help. We wait for it to load and now we're going to do the same process. We click until it is selected. We're going to click until it is selected. We click on share here, we're going to search for Gmail now, this Gmail option. We're going to click on Gmail, we hope it loads. Now what we're going to do is click here on skip. We click here to disable Google services, disable. Now what we're going to do is turn off the Wi-Fi networks. Which we have here, I'm going to disconnect it, I'm going to disconnect it. I'm going to disconnect it, you have a Wi-Fi network that you can't turn off. What you have to do is move far, far, far away. Let's see, let's go in. The Wi-Fi networks have already been turned off, let's go back. Gently back, now forward. We click on skip, we go forward. Now the Wi-Fi network does appear, we're going to click on skip here. But if you have a SIM car introduced in your phone, I recommend that you remove it so that it allows you to do this process faster. We click on skip here. Now I'm going to explain the error that I was telling you about from the beginning of the video so that you can apply it. Since these errors would remain yes or yes. On our phone, we click here. Now we click here the arrow here we are going. To enter what is our device recovering it. We are going to turn off the screen, we turn it on, this is the error that I want to tell you. The most common error we touch the screen. It sounds but it lets us enter, but to lower it it does let us go down. So what we do is go to what is the setting about the phone. Here I am going to cover so as not to see what is the email. We go here in factory reset reset. Here we go we are going to reset our phone completely. When our phone completely resets we would be free of any error. 